All right, welcome back to another one of our Saturday shorts. We're going to talk about how to build a platform in a very short amount of time. This all just happened naturally. We didn't pose this at all. Just, just natural. All right, so when you're building a platform, it's hardly even called building. All you're really doing is constructing. It's a very easy process. You want two four by eight, four by eight sheets of OSB, three quarter inch thick, four by eight. It'll actually be listed as 23 30 seconds. You're gonna run those two on the base layer lengthwise, that is to say front to back. So you set those down, then on top of those two sheets of four by eight, you're gonna put another two sheets of four by eight, and they're gonna go side to side. So one in front, one in back, they're gonna go side to side, and then you're gonna screw the second layer down to your first layer. We use one and a quarter inch screws for that. On the short end of each board, we use three screws running along the long edge of each board. We use four screws. Then on top of that, you have this top layer here. So down the middle, we've got a piece of OSB. You could use oak, you could use something like that. We just use OSB, it's nice and heavy. It causes everything to lay nice and flat. By the way, when you're dealing with boards, make sure that if they have a bow, and they usually will, make sure that the crown is up. So you don't want them bowing up at the ends, you want the bow to be facing up in the middle so that the weight of the platform takes out the bow. This is actually a reconstruction of this platform because we didn't take care of that the first time and the edges were starting to bow up. So on the, on the top layer here, we've got OSB down the middle. It's eight feet long, you're gonna have to cut that because it's gonna come as eight foot one inch. It's also three and a half feet wide. You can get Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever you go to cut that for you. You can do four feet, but there's a bigger chance your deadlifts, your cleans and stuff are gonna chip up the outside edge of the platform. So we like three and a half feet wide. Then on the outside, you've got uh, three quarter inch thick horse stall mats. Uh, they typically come in four by six foot sections. So this back section is six feet long and it's two feet, three inches wide. And then this front section here is two feet long, two feet from front to back. And again, two feet, three inches wide. And then of course you repeat that over here on, on the other side as well. In terms of screws, we just run, we put six screws in the OSB, two at the front, two in the middle, two in the back. And then on the rubber, we just put screws around the outside and front and back edges. We don't put any screws down the edge that's near the wood. That way, when you're setting down deadlifts, you're not accidentally going to set down metal plates or bumper plates on a screw that might be a little bit proud. So it's a very easy process. It doesn't take you very long. Hope this helps you build a nice, easy, quick platform. And when you're cutting horse stall mats, forgot to mention this, don't use a carpet knife, don't use a razor blade, anything like that. Simply use a jigsaw. We will link to the video below where we show you how to do that. It is the way to do it.